something, um, so this is my test, uh, between 0 and pi over 4. And you can get, you know, how, however you want to do it. Um, you can get crazy and say, I'm going to test, you know, pi over 12 or something like that. But I, I'm not going to know that value off the top of my head. Um, maybe um, I could test pi over 3 and say to you, hey, where's pi over 3? And, um, and, and that would be maybe one I would know off my head. But me, I'm kind of thinking this is 3.14 divided by 4. So this is around 0.75 is what that's around. So if I check 0.5, that I'll for sure be over there. And so I'm going to put this in the first derivative, which is cosine of 0.5 minus sine of 0.5. And I got my calculator in radians. So cosine of 0.5 minus sine of 0.5. Uh, if I have that where you can see it. And I will care if it's positive or negative. It's positive. So this is positive. And then I want to check something in between. So this is 0.75, remember. So I, I'm going to go maybe 0.9. And this one over here is bigger than 3.14, right? Because it's 1.25 times 3.14. So it's a little bit bigger than that. Maybe I can even test 1. So x equals 1. I was um, crazy when I said. Uh, and so I'm going to come over here and I'm going to edit that to be 1. And my calculator's in radians again. Um, and so if you were doing, and this is negative. That's all I care about. And, uh, and then you could test something in this region over here. That's 6.28, right? And, um, and we said this was bigger than um, 3.14. So maybe I'll test 5 so that I don't have to really figure out what this is, just because I know that it'll for sure be over there. Yep. And this is a time where I think it's alternating. And so if it doesn't alternate with my test, and I got a little, you know, I, I you know, think five would be for sure in between, um, uh, then I could say, wait a minute, let me be more careful if it doesn't alternate. Okay, and so it's increasing from um, zero to pi over four. And uh, from also from 5 pi over 4 to 2 pi and decreasing from uh, pi over 4 to 5 pi over 4 and um, and then this was part A and that's what I was really asked to do was part A and um, part B is where is uh, that you got um, local maxes and local mins. It didn't ask about absolute max and absolute min. So I don't have to worry about finding that, but the local ones, um, they want me to say, and so it's going up and then down. So that's a max. So local max at um, f of pi over four. And so remember back in f, so that's sine of pi over four plus cosine of pi over four. Um, and I think they're both equal to the square root of 2 over 2. So when I add those together, it would be 2. I think this is square root of 2, and you guys can correct me if I'm wrong on that. Um, I think I'm okay on that. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with it. I, I, I was going to try to look on the solution and make sure um, and uh, get going in your head. You know how that goes. And then the local min, because this is going negative and then back up, uh, is at 5 pi over 4. So this is sine of 5 pi over 4 plus cosine of 5 pi over 4. And that's bound to be 0 because, oh, let me think about that for a second. These are both negative, right? So I think it's negative square root of 2. Um, and so negative square root of 2. And um, anyway, so there you have that. If you wanted to find uh, where it has concavity, concave up and concave down, um, you're going to take the derivative again, right? You're going to take the derivative again. I wasn't asked that and when they asked me. And, and that's going to, other than sines, right, I'm going to get back to having the sine and the cosine again. So I'm going to kind of have the same line of thought. Um, and But I think I'm going to be solving, instead of solving where is the tangent 1, I think I'm going to be, end up solving on that where is the, 
where is the tangent equal to negative one is what I'm thinking because of how it, how that would go. And, um, and then, which will be, instead of being in the first and third quadrant, will be in the second and fourth quadrant. And then, anyway, so that would be how, just an idea, just in case you're getting stuck there. I think I'm gonna call this video here, and then I'm gonna um, do the others on a different video. I think it might be getting too long.